Well, it's a church steeped in secrecy and controversy, which has just established its new Australasian headquarters in suburban Sydney. But Scientology today opened the doors of its new multi-million dollar complex in Chatswood, inviting Nine News in for a look around. The Church of Scientology's home amongst the gum trees. A patch of bush 20 minutes from the city. This is what $57 million buys you in Chatswood. This property is like a never-never land. It's like stepping into, I don't know, what do you want to call it, the Garden of Eden. The church's PR executive from LA, Erin Banks, allowed us into the old CSIRO site. It's now the biggest Scientology church outside of the US. It's called the advanced organization. It's more like a hotel. You a it's like a resort hotel. In a, uh, it's a lot not of ways. a hotel. I mean, it's not a business, obviously. But, but it's got a resort feel. It's got a very relaxed feel about it. We've definitely tried to make it as accommodating for people as possible. 37 million for the land, another 20 for the reno. This site was paid for uh, by parishioners, Scientologists from around the world, um, members who contributed to it. The church claims to have a quarter of a million members in Australia and New Zealand. It is an applied religious philosophy, so you can actually use it in your life to benefit your life and to make life better. Singer, Scientologist Kate Sobrano kicked off the weekend opening. What we can't show you are the 60 auditing rooms, one of the more contentious aspects of the Church of Scientology. They're already in use and it's where Scientologists are given spiritual counselling by a minister with the church. Scientology has been damned by its critics as being secretive and as being a cult. <laughs> no one knows what goes on here. Is that what you're trying to do, open it up? Um, no, that's pretty 1970s. Four to five hundred Scientologists a day will pass through the centre. Where all of Elvin Hubbard's writings, teachings, lectures are available in 17 languages. Tom Cruise and John Travolta the religion's most famous devotees. We've read in the paper that there is a special area here for John Travolta and Tom Cruise. Is that true or not? No. no. <laughs> not at all. It's, it's a myth. Totally ridiculous. The church is hoping the surrounds will attract more parishioners. Its open door policy unlikely to shake off the critics. Mark Burroughs, Nine News.